this video, I take you guys to explore two of Japan's most unique abandoned Japanese themed love hotels. And these two rooms right here are probably the best ones to see. This is just unbelievable. And you were able to just be chained up right here. Oh my gosh. This room is massive and look at that bed. It's a really old console. And this kind of shows the effects of what's going on here with the population decreasing. The Spaceship Love Hotel is an abandoned hotel and adult entertainment venue in Japan. The hotel is three stories tall, bright pink and blue lights and neon strips would have illuminated the hotel's exterior. The lights have been off since the hotel closed in the mid-2000s. This love hotel catered to clients who valued discretion and anonymity. The other love hotel was more of a private luxury resort type of experience. Hidden away in the hills of Nagasaki, a more secluded yet serene experience in the comfort of staying the night in your own suite. This hotel has been abandoned since the late 90s. Both love hotels have some of the craziest rooms you'll ever see that will take you back in time. The origin of love hotels date back to the Edo period with discreet tea houses, but they gained prominence in the 1960s, evolving with Japan's economic growth and Western cultural influences, and generating billions of dollars annually. But in modern times, the industry has taken a significant downward spiral. This has led to the closing of thousands of love hotels in the country, most of them abandoned. But why? Japan's economic stagnation and a shift towards single lifestyles, new social norms, and the busy hustle mentality of working all day have led to less time for couples. Spending time together. The world sees love hotels as a unique thing in Japan's culture, an experience once only known in Japan, but sadly, may soon not exist. What's up today everyone fam and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, we're going epic adventures and today guys, we're exploring this abandoned love hotel. I bet a lot of you guys watching are not even familiar with love hotels this, but in Japan, they're quite famous. You were able to go to these love hotels, rent out a room for either a few hours or a full day for a very reasonable price and it was just for you and your loved one to come here have fun and it was a very safe environment to just and by the looks of it a really fun place but yeah it's just another love hotel left abandoned here in japan there's a lot of abandoned love hotels this one being probably the most craziest looking one that i've ever explored and it's just it's just a dying business not a lot of people are coming to love hotels anymore because they're just so busy with work here in Japan. And Japan is actually having a population crisis right now. All right guys, well before that adventure starts, I want you all to smash that like button and definitely comment down below where you're from. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's take this back to the very beginning. Right, guys, so just walking through the woods over here. Already I can see some stuff that probably was taken out from the Love Hotel. Got a bunch of washer and dryers and refrigerators and other appliances. Look at all the TVs too. By the looks of it, this hotel was probably being used around the 90s. It's kind of crazy that a lot of us grew up with these TVs. Oh, these are 6K, Steve. 6K. They're so powerful, people couldn't handle. Yeah. All right, everyone, so we just arrived. I was given directions from my friend that you have to enter through the back. Look at that, that's creepy. It's a little car workshop right next to it, some mannequin heads, but it's time. Let's head inside. Hey everyone, so we're now at the front entrance of this place. That's the front desk where you would kind of get your keys maybe. Now, what's unique about Love Hotel is that they were not run by people. Usually it's some from a voice intercom from a far away distance or it was all just through a computer system. So technically there was literally no one here running anything because the thing what's great about Japan's love hotels is they're all about privacy you're not gonna meet anyone no one's gonna know where you've been they're very respectful now what's crazy is that on the bottom floors they're all garages and I just want to show you guys the exterior really quick 
Just quickly got out of here. There's some of the garages. They were surrounding the entire building. You weren't really meant to go to the main entrance to check in. You were literally meant to just park your car in the garage and get inside the hotel. You were able to just quickly drive back here and park your car. No one would ever see you. Looks like they're taking some of the appliances out of the rooms. But anyway, let's head back inside. So I'm here with Dave as well. And check it out, we even have some of the old pictures of the rooms over here. So you've got a price which I believe is maybe a half day or... Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely daytime hours or a full. But look at this, 8,800 for the whole night, which is what, less than $40. That's a pretty good price. Especially that, if you want to take some stress out, dude, you can get in a boxing room. Yeah, maybe you know, if you had an argument with your wife or a girlfriend, you can just box them to, to pieces. Or if you want to take it to the moon, bro. So by the looks of it, there's probably over 100 rooms or 200 rooms here. You can see the numbers starting from 201 all the way up to 401 and 402. But you can see it kind of skips a floor. So I guess there's another floor without rooms. And these two rooms right here are probably the best ones to see. But I'm looking at the other rooms and some of them look pretty sick. Even cooler than the ones right here, which seem to be the most expensive rooms. We got a room with a rocket ship. We have a room with a carousel, a boxing room. That looks bondage. Well, wow, really unique, interesting looking rooms here. And now the prices, they range from 3,800 to 6,500. And the highest I'm seeing are these two rooms, 5,500 to 8,800. It's not bad. I think the top one is for a half day. And this is for a full day. And that's why about Japan is that usually you can rent out hotel rooms only for a few hours. Uh, the prices are relatively cheap. If you just want to take a nap here with your loved one for only a few hours and have some privacy, and cleanliness, yeah, this would be the place to go to. And I think the way it would work is like a vending machine. The rooms available would probably be lit up, has a green color. You press a button right here. Maybe you talk to the intercom and they tell you what to do and you go inside your room. Dude. What's up? I just worked out what the garages are for. What, what are they for? If you were coming here with a loved one, you don't want no one to see your car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's you for privacy. Kind of discreetly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garage bay. Yeah, exactly. Straight in. Now they should have more of these stuff. In America, we have nothing like this at all. Yeah, It'd be super convenient. Like yeah. Maybe COVID's ruined a lot of stuff as well because you think the germs in these places. Right. Just I mean, every hotel room we stay in, it's going to be at some point. Yeah, but this place has been closed down for a long, long time. Yeah. And love hotels are actually dying here in Japan. Yeah, I don't know why. But then you did say about the population is dropping as well. Yeah, the population is dropping, and also, yeah, none, yeah. none of Japanese people are right now. Yeah. So these businesses just go bankrupt. They don't make enough money. I've been noticing all the door handles have this weird cotton silk thing over it. Maybe it's just to keep the place clean. Instead of people touching the same doorknob, they can just they can just wash these cloths. But yeah. Here's the stairway over here. Or you can just take the elevator. It's really trash though. Definitely been looters and scrappers coming through here. All these doors are just garages. There was no hotel rooms over here. So I say we just start heading upstairs. So we have a little map. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rooms on this floor. Yeah, it looks like it just wraps around in a circle. So we'll start over here. This is room 207. The rooms are pretty nice. You have lots of space. Wow. Yeah, he had a desk, a nice comfy bed that probably had a lot of features on it. I mean, here are some of the buttons that would probably control music, sound, and lighting. Maybe even switch up how the bed is shaped. And here's a pamphlet. It's all in Japanese, but here's the name of the hotel. The Super Fashion Hotel, the Pori, part two. This might be what it's designed after. Thomas McKnight Road Island Go. I'm not sure, but hey, that's where I'm from in New England. Maybe this room is supposed to look like a hotel room from, from Rhode Island. Sure what this could have been. Probably part of the theme. They want those gymnastic things where you would balance on. Okay, it makes sense. This is kind of like a sports theme, I guess. And there's a refrigerator. I'm sure a lot of these rooms will have similar features. A lot of mirrors, crazy different lightings. <laughs> it looks like you can even work out and do some pull-ups here. This room would be perfect for a workout couple. And then you have the shower right there. It's see-through. Wow, it is clean in here. Well, this isn't as unique as the other rooms, so let's just go find more cooler bedrooms. This is room 206. 
pretty similar size to the other room we just did. A nice circular bed. Okay, well 205 was the best room so far. Let's check out 204. This is pretty cool. The uh, mermaid theme. It's a lot of stuff in boxes over here. Looks like they were trying to use this room as a storage. Maybe at one point they were trying to clear this place out. Yeah, still got the bed sheets and everything on the bed over there. Gonna have to blur that a little bit. I think the best part of this room is the bathtub. A giant clamshell. I'm making our room to 203. Okay, pretty colorful room. There's the toilet. What kind of theme was this? I'm still not quite sure. The bathroom is pretty normal. Most anything is just the bed. It looks very childlike. Reminds me of like one of those like child pits you find in a playground or some circus. Maybe this is circus theme. But then again, you got the wall over here showing an airport. Uh, ex explore. Okay. Daijobu. Yeah, explorers. Yeah, Japanese explorers. <laughs> yeah, Daijobu. Camera. Oh, hi. Camera. Camera. Uh, you? Fo photo? Photo? You? Oh, photo, photo, photo. Oh, so go uh, Yeah, we, uh... Wow, that's pretty amazing. That's my first time running into Japanese explorers. You know, I don't think there's really a lot of urban explorers here in Japan. There's only a, like a few of them, but it must be growing nowadays because of social media. But yeah, that's awesome. It must be so surprising for them to just see us foreigners exploring this abandoned place. Room 205. Wow. This is the craziest room I've seen. see anything topping this. And the shower is really big. You have two separate rooms here. The toilet was separated from the bathtub and the shower. Really awesome. Wow, and even the soap is just still there. And this entire room is mirrored. You're just able to see each other from any angle. You got a little tiny bar. This is crazy. And look at that. The giant spaceship. This is just unbelievable. I can't see any room topping this. Literally a spaceship, guys. All right, Rona fam. Come on board, we're going to the moon. This was able to move at one point. You were probably able to control it from the bed. Oh, I love everything about this room. Definitely my, my favorite love hotel room so far that I've seen, not just in this building, but to any abandoned love hotel I've been to. Crazy. The ceiling is also unique. It's the, the universe or the galaxy. Got the earth, the moon, planets, stars. The lighting system must have been crazy in this room. Also behind the bed, you had maybe squatters staying in here too, which is kind of rare in Japan. So I haven't really talked about this yet, but this is how to pay for the room. Basically, I mean, there's directions shown right here. We have a telephone right here. Maybe you were talking to one of the staff members. A bottle would come down this tube. You have to open it up, grab the bottle, put the money inside it, put the money back in, close it up, and it would suck it right back to the front desk with all the other tubes. So we have some menu. Could have been serving food or just order food for delivery. You got your coffee maker and I'm not seeing a refrigerator. There must have been one here at one point. Right down here, that appliance has been taken out. Let's keep on exploring, guys. We're down over here. Still got a few more rooms to see. And we're making our way. Almost done with this floor. And this is looking pretty plain and ordinary. Yeah, it just looks like a regular hotel room. But wow, look at this. We have to blur this. This basically shows some escorts. You were able to just call them up and have them come to your room. Jeez. Here's the room next to it. Oh wow, what's that? It's an old retro console built into a TV. It's Violent Attack. It's been a fighting game. What kind of room is this? It's a flower theme? It's really dark. Oh, no way. I think it's Disney theme. I mean, they probably were unable to make it look exactly Disney due to licensing. Oh yeah, look. You have Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. If you were a big fan of Disney, probably book this place. These were just all lockers. You would probably keep a lot of your important stuff in here. That's the stairway leading downstairs or upstairs. A little break room or an office, maybe for security or some maids. There's a calendar right there on the wall. I don't really see a year on it. It's hard to tell. 
after he gave us a hint of when this place was abandoned, definitely for the maids to come and restock on towels or blankets or bed sheets. What's that? I think some of these are condoms on the floor. All right, I think we have a couple more rooms to go. I'm in a casino. Besides the spaceship, this room is probably the second craziest one so far. The bed is literally designed as a roulette board. Like imagine that and look at the ceiling when you look up. And I bet you that roulette board up here would actually work. It probably spin around in a circle. You were able to bet a number or color. Kind of have a little fun with it and probably light up somewhere. Jeez. Yep, I can just imagine. Oh, it's a Playboy room. This is wild. I get a little bit more light in here. And the windows are tinted. Maximum privacy. Yeah, I bet the music sounded nice in here too. So this is the last room on the second floor. Just an ordinary room. Well, it's time we head up to the third floor. All right, guys. Well, yet again, this floor has about maybe I would say nine rooms. Leave a comment down below what your favorite room was on the second floor. But I'm really excited to see what the third floor holds. All right, well, it's kind of structured. The layout on this floor is similar to the one on the second, so yeah, we just have to go around in a circle again. But instead of clockwise, let's go counterclockwise. Maybe starting from here. So room 303 is going to be the first room. This gives me European vibes. Hey look, it's a little cat piggy bank. There's no coins in it. You can smell cigarette smoke. Someone's smoking. So I guess it was half and half. Half of the rooms were pretty standard. Another half were really unique looking ones, but it's still cool to see that every room is different. Room 305. This is kind of similar to the Playboy room. It has the same circular beds. Not as cool though. What's that say on there? Disco something. Okay, so we just have these rooms to check. This room is 302. This is a clown room. What the heck? Wow, it's a carousel bed. I bet you these would also just go around. This is crazy, I like this theme a lot. Imagine that you and your partner were just riding on these horses around the bed. Window over here has been smashed to bits. Comes with a really small bathtub. Damn, it actually moves. Damn, this is actually quite soft. I wonder what button you would press to get this working. This one says clockwise and counterclockwise. even have a sand hourglass. Maybe it was for the sauna. I guess this room would be great after you have an argument. Wow, crazy. Not sure why there's an inflatable mattress in the shower room. A pretty cool design right here on the glass. What the hell is that? What uh, do you... This is a funfair room. Funfair room, okay. So all the time, you gallop around, <laughs> you throw nice, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, it's that's... not what you think, it's not what you think. You and sure? There's a chair here, yep. so you can... <laughs> this room is fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Jeez. It is crazy in here, isn't Dude, it? this is nuts. This is probably the most erotic and kinkiest room in this love hotel. This is wild. Got a horse. And look at this crazy chair. Jeez. I mean, you would have maybe just sitting there. Another person would be sitting down here. Even got the handles. What the heck? Too crazy. And you were able to just be chained up right here. Oh my gosh. Got the chains and the straps and the wrist straps. I bet you that it was able to move. You could probably put yourself upside down. Oh, but it's not moving. Probably had to happen mechanically. The bed over here has been pretty destroyed. Just a couple more rooms to go. 307 and 306. Damn. It's a spaceship or UFO theme room. Another one. But this one looks more so a UFO. I've seen this in another band hotel. We would have this light up all around. I like the rocket room a lot better. 
Got the little uh, UFOs flying on the window right here. And this is totally a different design in the bathroom. It's just an iron tub. This is probably one of the best rooms. Even have more controls to play around with. So we just have a couple more rooms. Here's 309. It's another corner room. <laughs> what the heck? Already from here I can tell why it is. It's boxing theme. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is probably the funniest room I've ever seen. Imagine that, you're just boxing with your missus. I guess this room would be great after you have like an argument. Look at that, you can even see the blood stains on the carpet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and this is what the bathroom looked like. Should have made it more boxing theme. A weird crazy smell in this hall. Like a perfume smell, but oh, it doesn't smell good. I think it's coming from the last room. It's a yellow room, and the name of it is Yellow House. This is kind of a room you would see in a luxury hotel. But look what's left behind. Here's the karaoke system. Well guys, I think that's all the love hotel rooms. But there's still two more floors to check. So let's go upstairs. But I really hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. If you have, don't forget to smash the button and share this to a friend or family. I've also been taking a lot of photos of each and every single room here that you have to check out on my Instagram page at Steve Rona, so go ahead and follow me. It's also a great way to just be updated with my life because a lot of these videos were filmed and explored months ago. While you're watching this video, it could be somewhere else in the world besides Japan, so definitely follow me guys. So if you remember from downstairs, it never had rooms from the fourth floor. And that's because there weren't really any love hotel rooms here. By the looks of it, this is kind of where maybe workers or staff members would stay in or maybe the rooms were just meant for storage. Okay, wait a minute. There's one love hotel room here. This is probably the more premium ones. But to be honest, this room is bigger than the ones downstairs, but the theme is pretty ordinary. I'd prefer the second and third floor rooms than up here. Definitely more spacious. These rooms are probably rented out if you had more than two people. Yeah, there's even another bed right here. So this is a jetted tub. And there's also a sauna. Looks like you were able to get onto the rooftop here. Or it's your own little balcony. But yeah, I really don't want to be seen from up here. Oh, I think there's another room all the way at the top. Well, I really don't want to step on these things. Heck, I'm so curious though. Wow, so I didn't know that there was another section past these lockers. We're gonna check out what's down here while we're heading out. Yeah, it's so weird. So I have a feeling this part was not meant for customers. I think it was staff only. Yeah, I think this room was meant for someone to kind of manage what's going on. Tell that they would work behind here on this other side. And this is pretty cool to see. This used to be a control box that would function some of the rooms. And this is where the money would drop inside these tubes. They're even labeled with each room number. Like I said before, they would pay inside the rooms. And there was probably something where they would put the money inside and it would just drop down over here. And yeah, you just collect the money this way. I'm feeling a lot of the equipment has been stolen. All the copper and wires. I and mean, there's still a lot of appliances in here. It really looks ransacked. We can head out this way. We did all of it. What do you mean? This side has some hotel rooms too, huh? Yeah, these are small. Probably cheaper than the other rooms we just explored. Well, this room is pretty cool. It's a Royce Royce. To the ceiling. R.R. Rolls Royce. Yeah, even says it on the window over here. So I didn't see that. Okay, well, we're inching closer to the exit. Yeah, a lot of the rooms are standard compared to the Rolls Royce room. What's this room? It's just ordinary, man. Nothing so crazy. 
Yeah, I think some people wanted that basic, like home from home thing. These, these rooms probably ran cheaper than the other ones. This hallway is so narrow, and the floor is falling apart. This one looks pretty neat. So has a lot of space. The same type of bed from another level until I explored. Knight's armor in it. I might be going back there on this trip. Definitely in better condition. Yeah, there's signs of a squatter here. Well guys, just made it at the end of the hallway. That's really it. We explored everything this place has to offer. I'm gonna head back to the car now. All right, Ronan fam, so that's a wrap of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. And of course, if you did enjoy it, subscribe and hit that notification button and bell. Also check out my boy, Dave, Yo, lovely loads, guys. AWE. You guys have to check him out. I know this is the second trip with Dave and it's always a pleasure exploring and doing a road trip with him. We've just been hitting a lot of places. And if you notice on this road trip, sometimes Josh and Dan is not there because we're hitting up the places that they kind of already done. This being one of them. Amazing location. Leave a comment down below what your favorite room was. And leave a comment down below which room you would take Dave and I into if you were to come here. <laughs> I won't get one free. I won't get one free. All jokes aside though, what a crazy place. I think my favorite room was the rocket ship room. Dave, what was your favorite room? I I did that room. Bondage room. It's a bondage room. It's the one with the pony. No, there was a lot of good ones. I also have the carnival room. So many stuff was really amazing to see here. And like I said, abandoned love hotels are a dying breed here in Japan. The only love hotels you'll see is probably the ones in Tokyo or any major city here in Japan. And this kind of shows the effects of what's going on here with the population decreasing. But anyway, there's more adventures to come in the Japan series, so stay up to date with it. Gonna be dropping, I'll always be dropping at least one Japan video every single month or maybe twice a month. Just let me know if you love the Japan series and I'll take into consideration how many I should put out every single month. Well, it's a rainy day here in Nagasaki. It's the last day. Really sad. I do love Nagasaki. Where's my park here? Move, 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 move. Did you stand when you started out? Huh? Yes, I when you started, it sounded very vibration. The car? Nah. Well, last day of Nagasaki. I picture Nagasaki. Nope. I'm not happy. Well, it's a rainy day because it's our last day here. Oh, true. They're sad. Yeah. The Nagasaki, the Nagasaki sad. gods are sad right yeah. now. But we have one more spot to explore here. And it's going to be a love hotel that's abandoned. And it looks sick. I've only explored one love hotel here in Japan. So this will be my second one. But I just love them. There's a lot of abandoned love hotels in Japan. And I kind of want to explore them all. Damn, it is raining hard right now. Probably the most rain so far on this trip. But that is not going to stop us from exploring and filming today. Right? Right? Right, Josh? Honestly, just because I'm in Japan, I'm down. If I was in the US, I would have just waited. Yeah, but we're going to get an umbrella anyway, so I think we'll be fine. But this place. It's absolutely massive. There's multiple buildings, so I kind of want to try to film and get good shots of the outside too, but yeah, hopefully this rain doesn't ruin it. The Love Hotel is up this hill. The rain is kind of calming down. Everyone decided to just wait in the car, but I just know this rain's not gonna stop. So what's the point of waiting? It's kind of crazy to think that a love hotel is up here. All right, we're starting to see some of the buildings now. Wow. Now these ho love hotels are kind of interesting. If you were able to just rent a little house by yourself, park your car over there. So here we are in the love hotel village. All these buildings that you're seeing were love hotels. What's unique about them though, is that you were able to drive up to them. You had your own outdoor parking area. I guess we'll check out this building first. I'm sorry about the rain guys. I think we'll be okay. We're gonna be mostly indoors anyway. Showing off these rooms. Already, I'm digging the wallpaper. Looks like they had a floral theme. And some stained glass 
on the windows. So this was one of the rooms. Decently sized. This one's pretty good for two people. And we still have everything here. The TV, karaoke set, and the bed looks pretty comfy. You had a lot of controls to change the mood of your room. You could probably control the lights and the position of the bed. Over here is a bathroom, pretty standard. For some reason it's a shower. Okay. Here's how the shower looked. It was a standing shower and you had a little tub. Now, I think back in the West, Love Hotels isn't really a thing. It used to be, I think around the 70s, but a lot of them closed down, at least in my area in New England. Back in the rain, we're just gonna have to run to each building. Okay, so we'll check out number 28. If I have a feeling, it's gonna look the same. Well, this one is kind of styled differently. And this even has some sort of backyard area. Wow, so this is awesome to see that every room is different. And we have some information posted here on the door. I think this is the cost, maybe per hour. Not bad. I have a feeling this means from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. It's 4,800 yen, which is equivalent to $40. It's quite traditional. The tatami style floor mats. I kind of feel bad walking with my shoes. You're not really supposed to do that. The floor is sunking in. But here's the bed. So it's like a big studio. And wow, TV is still right there. We got two of them. This one comes with video games. Over here's the bathroom. There's a lot of animal feces. They've taken over this place. Surprisingly, I've never ran across an animal yet. Walk on top of here too. Well, had I not come up here, I would have noticed how it's designed. I just noticed the mirrors too. You have a lot of them in the room and even have one on the ceiling. And just imagine everything lit up here, almost looking like a shrine. And how come that door is moving by the wind? Oh, there it goes again. That's definitely just the wind. I guess we'll check out the other buildings from the back. Oh wow. Connects to all the other rooms, the little alleyway. Check out this one. Building number 32. The floor is bad here. Oh shit. Gotta be careful in some of these places. Alright. This one looks pretty ordinary. But still quite nice. It's similar to the first building we saw. Oof. I've been seeing a lot of dead spiders. Those are huntsman spiders. Or maybe it's not dead. I think they I think they shed. Notice though that scrappers have been up here. Every building so far, the ceiling has been busted wide open. They probably took precious metal from the buildings. Let's just go all the way down here. It's crazy how every building was connected. We have a bunch of neighbors. I hope these buildings had good soundproof. They're all now looking quite similar. I guess the more unique buildings are near the front entrance. I think it's the very first sofa we've seen here. So far, it looks like there's two different types of styles here at the moment. Western style and traditional Japanese style love hotel rooms. This one is more Western style or more modern. The entrance has been busted wide open. The moment you think the rain is slowing down, it just gets worse and worse. I mean, it's not too bad, but I thought it was calming down. But now it just picked up back up again. The overgrowth is just crazy. Oh gosh. Gotta be careful with the spiders. I bet this is gonna be a pink theme. Love hotel room. These look really standard now. Let's go back outside and try to find the ones that are very unique. Oh, I wonder what's down there. Here's an abandoned car. Oh, it's really rusted up and destroyed. Okay. I have a feeling this building was meant for the workers. Well, it was definitely filled with stuff. Yeah, I think the staff members or maybe security would stay in here. It's all numbered too for each building. So it looks like there was 53 buildings in total. 
on this complex. Yeah, it's really cluttered. There's nothing really crazy so far. There's the kitchen. Okay, so I just checked Google Maps. This was the main road to the entrance. So this is how the entrance would look like. So far, all the buildings to walk past are pretty standard. But I have a feeling these ones over here were the most themed ones. Well, seems everyone's trying to get back to the car, complaining about the rain, but in my opinion, it kind of makes this place feel a lot cooler, more atmospheric, more apocalyptic, and it's kind of given me a new perspective on how to film in the rain and kind of make it cool. But this is the last building we have to check out. Probably the biggest building here. So it must be really good and premium. Might be even the best ho love hotel here. Yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the video so far. If you have, don't forget to smash that button and also leave a comment down below. Where you're from, guys, I love hearing where my viewers are from. So definitely leave a comment down below. And also, cop the Wonder Hoodie, guys. Shop freemaxwonder.com. International shipping available. Now, the only thing I'm bummed out about is the fact that I can't fly a drone. Hopefully the rain will calm down, but if not, then, oh well. Damn, I have to say that this is definitely the best love hotel room. This room is massive, and look at that bed. But there is a considerable amount of damage. This room had its own kitchen. You were able to cook and eat. A nice little living room here in the corner. What's this made of? Okay, I thought it's marble, but it's not. It's made of wood. But still, really cool looking. Oh, okay, we have to be careful with the floor. Because look at that. This hotel room is built on a hill, and that's a, probably a 20 feet drop. So definitely gotta avoid that it's a little spot. The living room looks really comfy. This room had nice big windows. Check out the lights. It's really beautiful. And I guess the theme here was kind of Emperor Empress theme. Here's the bed. It's circular. This room must have been the most expensive one. Can't beat how it looks. And it must have been really comfy. Wow, that ceiling is gorgeous. I bet the bed was custom made too. It looks good as new. There's not even animal feces on it, which is surprising. This only has a toilet. I wonder where the shower is. Unless they had one that was outdoors. Wow, the shower is right here and the bathtub. Almost looks like a botanical garden. Yeah, I'm kind of worried of walking down there. I don't know how safe the floor is. right across like the wallpaper it's holographic what the heck this room is an underwater theme you got the clamshell bed that's pretty dope I like this one the most right now look at this the karaoke in this room look a lot cooler oh no it's a flashlight that's a really old console This is how the bathroom looks like. Now I think there's one more really good room to check out, but it's heading back towards the car. Here's the last building, or at least one of the last buildings. Oh, what the heck? This has a very emperor theme as well. This bathroom is quite nice though. The ceiling is really messed up. It must have been really comfy to sleep on this bed. This more than the circular ones they had in the other room. So there's another hallway over here. I wonder where this might lead. Oh, what? Okay, this might be the best love hotel room. Are these supposed to be piano keys? This is so random. It's a spaceship. It's seriously a UFO theme room. There's a bat in the room. Oh, 
I really want to take a photo in there, Bat. I don't know if these ones bite, but I definitely want to take a photo. Damn it. 